It's almost a year since Western nations imposed sanctions aimed at reducing Russia's ability to shore up its military. But trade records reveal what's actually happened this past year. Chinese companies have continued and even increased their business ties with Moscow. Data analysts say there's clear evidence that China has dramatically increased military shipments to Russia since Moscow invaded Ukraine. A network of Chinese defense companies operating directly under the state-owned Assets Commission has been steadily supplying Russia with military hardware despite international sanctions. Almost 2,000 companies operate within the Polygroup network, including a defense conglomerate called Polytechnologies. And so what I've identified from the companies that I've been researching is actually an increase in military applicable parts that are explicitly labeled for military systems to Russia from China since the start of the war. And even for a couple of months preceding the war, we see about a 300 percent increase in M171 system parts from Polytechnologies to these Russian defense companies uh, just about a month or two before the invasion started. And most of those shipments are actually during the war itself. Many of these companies are shipping directly to Russian military hardware companies which are operating in Ukraine. Among the electronics and machinery parts are parts which are explicitly for military use. In October, a company called China Tally Aviation shipped radar parts for the S-400 anti-aircraft system to a Russian defense contractor, Almaz Ante. That transaction was detailed in a Wall Street Journal article based on data from C4 ads. And between June and November, there were multiple shipments of parts for M171 helicopters, this time Polytechnologies selling to Ulan Ude Aviation Plant. But because of complex supply chains, it's not just Chinese companies that are implicated. And we see about 30 percent um, of Polytechnologies trade partners have active uh, Western ties in their shipments, either exporting, importing or countries of origin. And this is really impactful um, because sanctions measures specifically stipulate that any entity who's trading goods or services or even financially supporting these sanctioned Russian defense companies is potentially at risk for sanctions penalties as well. That applies even if the company isn't aware of the final destination of their products and even if it wasn't a direct shipment. However, some companies clearly believe that the profit is worth the risk.